1958 Ferrari 250 GT California Spider SWB the 250 California was first proposed to Luigi Chinetti in 1957 by John von Neumann Ferrari's West Coast representative who believed that there was a ready market for a chic expensive convertible in the United States. Chinetti convinced Enzo Ferrari to produce the car which was designed by Pine and Frina and constructed by Scaglietti. The California was offered an either long wheelbase, LWB, or short wheelbase, SWB. The reduced length of the SWB modules provided for more nimble handling better acceleration and gave it a more purposeful stance. Text courtesy of the Peterson Museum. When the Peterson Automotive Museum completed its extensive 14-month renovation and reopened its doors in December of 2015 automotive enthusiasts were treated to a refreshed 95,000 square feet of exhibit space boasting 25 separate galleries. At the time of opening our favorite of those was the precious metal exhibit in the Bruce Meyer family gallery featuring some of the world's most desirable cars all painted in silver. While we're sad the precious metal exhibit is no more the gallery is now filled with something perhaps even better, an exhibit celebrating the 70th anniversary of Ferrari. Called Scene Red. The theme of a single color has been maintained, red of course. And the gallery features 11 of the most significant road and race cars built by the Branson horse in the last seven decades. Leading the herd is a stunning 1963 Ferrari 250 GTO one of just 39 built and widely considered to be one of if not the most desirable collector car in the world. The last one that sold at auction brought a record $38 million. Following up the 250 GTO is an achingly gorgeous 1958 250 Testarossa and then a 1965 250 LM that won Le Mans outright. In 1965, a Mel Miglia winner in 1949 166 Embarcada is also on display. Perhaps the most historically significant car in the collection however is a 1947. Ferrari 125 S although this particular vehicle's history is difficult to trace with. Many early race cars being wrecked cut up or combined with other cars many believe this. Example chassis 010i to be the very first car to carry the Ferrari badge. Not surprisingly the 125 S was a successful race car winning 6 of the 13 races in which it competed. The rest of the gallery is a celebration of Bell Machine which includes a 1955 Ferrari 857 Sport and 1958 Ferrari 250 GT California Spider SWB Michael Schumacher's 2006 Ferrari 248 F1 and 1976 Ferrari 312 T2 driven by Nicky Lauda to victory at the Monaco Grand Prix and the 2014 Ferrari La Ferrari. We are so thrilled to bring some of the world's most beautiful Ferraris to the Peterson said Bruce Meyer founding chairman of the Peterson's board of directors. Seeing that Rosso Casa paint and the beautiful curves of the body work is always enough to make your heart skip a beat. Scene Red will be one of the most significant gatherings of Ferraris in the world and I'm so pleased to be able to share it with the public in our gallery. This new exhibit is another example of how the Peterson views cars as art and nothing is more appropriate than red Ferrari models said Terry Carge's executive director of the Peterson Automotive Museum. We're confident this exhibit will help us continue our success and really get people talking and learning about Ferrari.